All right, we're taking a look at the Holosun HE510C-GR, which stands for green dot right there. Um, on the side of the box, it just gives, you know, quick descriptions on what you're gonna expect. A uh, two MOA dot and a 65 MOA circle. 50,000 hours for dot, 20,000 hours for circle and dot, 25,000 hour battery life at setting 10 for dot, solar panel, memory function for brightness setting, 10 DL and 2 NV brightness settings under manual mode, 1.4 inch detachable QD mount, quick detach mount, battery tray, titanium frame, waterproof, parallax free. And we have it right here. It's a two-piece design. The top piece is uh, the main part, and then the lower piece is the quick detach mount piece. Here you see, you can see the screws holding the uh, QD mount to the actual unit. The solar panels is right here, and it's an open style reflex sight. Battery tray is right here on the right side. If uh, this is the back side, left side is where the plus and minus adjustments turn it on. The brightness settings for the reticles. And here's the front side, front side of the site. Um, it has like a orange, orangey yellowish tint. And then the back is like a bluish tint. Um, the windage and elevation right here. Top and on the right side. And uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand holding the GoPro. So let's open up the box. Standard Holliston box that um, these reticles sites come in, come in uh, with the instruction manual and that's the receipt uh, you get the cloth you know to wipe the uh, glass and stuff this uh, has the battery the CR2032 battery in it but uh, I already put it inside the uh, the optic silica, throw that away. And here's the box. It comes with the little windage adjustment tool right there, extra battery tray, and then the T10 torch tool, which is a wrench, a little L wrench, right? Um, let's see the battery tray, yeah, it's, I think I lost the secondary battery, but you use the T10 Torx tool to unscrew the battery tray and uh, you could use it to unscrew the QD mount from the actual optic. But uh, yeah, just like every other hollow sun, you press the plus sign to turn the reticle on and it's on auto mode which uh, utilizes the shake awake technology from hollow sun um, and with all hollow sun they keep it uniform and standard on how to switch to the different reticles small tie reticles so you hold the minus sign for like three seconds see there it goes it switched to the dot just a two MOA dot, and this is in green. And then hold the minus sign again for three seconds. And it switches to just the 65 MOA circle. And then uh, the last one is back to the two MOA and 65 MOA circle. And uh, people were saying um, how it 
it reflects off the uh, glass but I think it only shows that on camera but when you take it outside it doesn't reflect like that the camera's just showing it as it is because uh, the camera is really not what your eyes like really really see but like when you're shooting it you don't or when you're aiming down it you don't see that reflection but I'm in a dark area so you'll see the uh, reflection from the hollow from the back piece where it's um lighting up transmitting but um, I mean I don't notice it on when when I have it on the rifle it's just when I play it, look back at it um, in the video because the video captures it but in real life you don't see that from your eye um, and I had people ask me that in other videos when I was showing the reticles but see you could only see right there the little reflection like I'm looking at it um, in the camera and then with my um, without the camera and you don't see it when uh, um, you're looking at it in real life I don't know if that makes sense but uh you only see that in the camera because I guess the glass on the uh, the camera is uh, reflecting the light because light you know bends and stuff so that's what people were I guess um, commenting and hitting me up about but see like that little little um i guess flare or green ish under the reticle is it, it's the camera's picking that up i don't see it in real life so hope that makes sense and and uh clear that up for y'all because this is a really good optic reflex sight green dot dot sight um, I have Trijicons and Eotech and, uh, they're, they're, they're also really good brands. I mean, you know, because of the name, but, uh, I started getting into Hollow Suns and shooting with it and, uh, their, their, their quality glass and Hollow uh, site is really really impressive so I started getting some more and shooting with different ones and they're really really good uh, so yeah that's just a quick unboxing and review of the Holosun HE510C green dot